Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kitsune Readings, where your questions find answers. Hello, my friends, Ryukumai here. I've come to talk to you about color magic today. Now, color magic is interesting because it provides a physical representation of what you want to cause to occur in the physical universe. When most people talk about magic, it is to cause change to occur in conformity with will. Now, the color should register in your subconscious, and you send out into the universe the desire that you wish to manifest. Think of it like throwing a stone and casting ripples in a pond, right? And the energy gathers momentum, creates a wave, causing your desire to appear. Now, these colors and representations are more from the Western teachings and school of magic, as opposed to the Eastern school of magic, where the colors can be different. Now, Eastern school of thought and magic is a whole nother video, and if you'd like me to make a video about that, I will. Just let me know. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about the colors. Red is for physical energy. It can also be for healing and physical passion. Orange is for pride and courage. Yellow is for air and mental work. Green is for earth and vegetation. It is also for fertility and prosperity. Blue is the color of water. It represents love and emotional work. It is also for peace and protection. Indigo is the color of perception. Perception, imagination, and illusion. Now, next we have Violet. Violet is for power, wealth, and good fortune. Brown is for everything to do with animals. Animal healing, animal communication. And uh, black, of course, is for blighting and binding. It can also be used for protection. White is for blessing and everything in between, as it's considered a universal color. White is also for friendship and sincerity. Gold is for masculine energies. It is also for strength and leadership. Silver is for feminine energies. It is intuition, insight, and dreams. And also divination and psychic gifts. Now, these are the 12 colors of wizardry. Yellow is for divination, air, and the east. Red is for alchemy, fire, and the south. Green is for wart cunning, earth, and the north. Gray is for lore mastery, knowledge, and center. White is for ceremonial, spirits, and the soul, and the direction above you. Black is for sorcery, matter, and energy, and the direction for black is below. Clear is for math magics numbers and its direction is everywhere this makes sense numbers are not limited can go on into infinity and are very cool like that aqua is for meditation inner and northwest 
Sorry, my cat keeps interfering with my videos. I have to move her off the desk. Orange is for Conjury, Outer, and its direction is Southwest. The direction for Aqua is Northwest, in case I didn't mention it. Brown is for Beast Mastery, Life, and Death, and its direction is the Northeast. Violet is for Cosmology, Time and Space, and the Southeast. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video about color magic. Remember that these colors are meant to give you a more direct physical surface, uh, <clears throat> a more direct physical connection to what you're trying to cause as a change and effect in the physical universe, right? Remember, the practice of magic is the art of causing change to occur in conformity with your will. And by registering these images in your cell, <clears throat> in your subconscious, it will come to a greater effect and will cause your desires to manifest in a stronger fashion. A lot of people talk about manifesting, but I feel that they aren't taught to do that correctly. If you'd like another video about how to cause things to manifest, let me know and I will make one for you. Manifestation and focus on colors, signs, and symbols will greatly aid you in your magical works. I love you all, thank you for listening, and I hope this video helps you in your magical practices and studies. I love you all, have a good night, and I will see you very soon.